Yeah, I remember like years ago, um, you know, I'm on about hard men. I'm on about men that can really fight on the cobbles. I mean, all I talked about the Wellses, uh, Colin Cracknell, and all that lot, my own words, told Derek Pierce, Edgy Carlisle, all these people that can really have it on the, on the cobbles, yeah? But I used to be mates with Johnny Frankham, Johnny Frankham and Les Stevens. They used to come down to the market on uh, Christmas times uh, with the big Christmas trees, and it's great to see them, man. You should talk to them, and I've seen them on the cobbles have a fight uh, over the trees, over the over, over to green grocers taking liberties. You get Johnny Frankham standing there having toe to toe fights with some of these green grocers and bashing them right up. You know what I mean? And I say to myself, what chances? As, as Lenny McLean and Roy Shaw and them sort of people got with them sort of people, like professional people like Johnny Frank and Les Stevens could really march on the cobbles, mate. They were the governors on the cobbles without a shadow of doubt. I mean, the Welshes, I've seen, the Welshes didn't have too much to do with the Frankens and the Stevensons. They didn't, they wasn't making themselves busy. Uh, Cracknell used to. Uh, Cracknell used to make himself busy over Frank and Stevens muck about, spar about with him all the time. Cracknell, he didn't care, mate. Cracknell wouldn't have a... a, a he don't care who he has a fight with Cracknell. He's one of them people that just loves a fight and he could fight on the cobbles. But uh, to see Johnny Frankham and Les Stevens, when they fight on the cobbles, it was fantastic, mate. You know, two good fighters, two good fighters that could really have it, mate. Yeah, Johnny Frankham and Les Stevens and... Uh, you see them when they knock out greengrocers, mate, over the trees, where the tr greengrocers try to nick more trees. Mind you say that, right? When I was doing the trees with them, yeah, I used to have the big barrow and take the trees all around the market uh, to porters and to greengrocers and all that, and, you know, and, uh, mate, I used to nick so many trees. If they found out how to kill me, <laughs> I used to nick loads and loads of trees, you know what I mean? You go and get good money for trees, you know, in them days. Uh, yeah, man, I loved it, and you know, I loved, I loved, I loved it when Johnny Frankham and Liz Stephen Counters come in. They was all dark complexions, you know, and they could really march on. Good fighters, mate, on the cobbles. They were proper, proper fighters. Yeah, and they come from uh, Reading that way. It's all our sides, you know, all come from our sides and could really march on. I mean, very good friends of. Uh, of Joe Smith's, all that lot. Uh, yeah, the old Johnny Frank, it was a good fellow Joe Smith's, mate. Joe Smith's done a few podcasts with uh, the old man Frankham, you know what I mean? Yeah, mate, uh, Johnny Frankham and Les Stevens, and Les Stevens, rest in peace, mate, but he's dead. But uh, the old man Johnny Frankham, well, not the old man, I mean, there's only one Johnny Frankham, that's him, you know what I mean? And he could fight, mate. He could march on. He would not fight on no one, mate. He could really march on. And to me, uh, that lot over there, McLean and Roy Shaw, and all that, had no chance, mate. No chance. We were the guns this end. We've had a show of that ready. All this, this side, not that side, this side. All right? Nice one. Take care. Nice one.